something new and it's not makeup. I like the makeup. 90s references! You've got mail. How many of you guys remember Long Distance? Hey everybody, we're two peas in a pot. I'm Steven. And I'm Jessica. And we're here today with a brand new type of mystery box. A Zobi Productions. 90s autograph pop culture mystery box. Yes. Say that five times fast. I'll 90s wait. Zobi pop culture autograph mystery box. Autographed? Autograph. You said that once and it you didn't even say it fast. We have the Zobi Productions uh, pop culture 90s box. Yeah. Which, <laughs> see if I can show you this. This is crazy. It's got, just to show you how 90s this is. <laughs> Look at that. I'm showing you that. With my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to contrast the, you know, the 2000s and the 90s just yeah. a little bit. We need a bag phone. Oh my gosh, a bag <laughs> phone. Right, how about just a phone with a cord? Yeah. How about a home phone? Home Anybody? phone. Anybody? <gasps> oh, little dials. A little rotary phone? <laughs> Everybody wanted to dial nine, right? Uh, I wanted to dial, every number I ever wanted to dial on that had to be with a nine. Nine. <laughs> Loved it. I broke two of them that my parents had because I love playing with it so much. So they went out when I was like 10 and bought me the baby toy. Let's open this box. Zobie box. All right. Uh, mystery box technically. So I get to no, do the don't. thing that you I do get thing. to There's do. No thing. What? No. What? You don't. I don't what? Get to do the thing. I don't know what thing you're talking yes, about. Yes, you do. I don't. don't. I'm not. Do I'm. What? You have to tell me what I can't do, or else I don't know. I can't do it. I'm not. No. You're not doing it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Get the shing. You need the shing. That's all you need. That's it. Don't. I know what you're doing. You got that look. There's a look. You got that. I'm going to do the thing, but I'm going to pretend like I'm not going to do the thing, but I'm really going to do the thing. Don't do the thing. Without further ado, I bring to you a $40 Zobi production. 90s pop culture mystery box for the ages. Shing. Sparkle, sparkle. sparkle. We're supposed <laughs> to do the thing. I don't know. We never agreed upon that. It, it's not that kind of mystery box. While she opens the box, I want to call her out on something. When she bought this box, she was like, oh, I got a Sazobi box. And I was like, oh, cool. There must be a pop in there. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an autograph Funko Pop it's mystery deceiving. box. Look at the size of this box. This came in, and I was like, uh, sweetheart. I was deceived. I don't think there's was, a pop in there. I was deceived. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this blue. blue. If that doesn't scream 90s. You know what screams 90s? Blue. Lisa Frank. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting. <gasps> it's the fight club bar of soap. Look, I love that. That, this that box is already so worth it. cool. Okay, yeah, Already box worth completely worth it. Right, you can see the pink oh. of the bar of soap. I'm not opening this because this is wicked cool. That is so awesome. Worth it. Oh my god. Worth it. Oh my god. I've never been happier to open up a bar <laughs> of soap. All right, what's next? <gasps> yes! <laughs> I see you have braces. I have braces too. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is awesome. Uh, so this cool. is awesome. This is awesome. What do you like better? Oh, I, ooh, uh. I like the Fight Club so better. I like this right. This is a limited to 300 pieces. Okay. Yeah, artist edition collectible pin. It's got them working at the Burger World. Oh, this makes me so happy. You know what, Rain? You can rain all you want. <laughs> I don't care. Because I got beavers and butthead. I don't care either, because I have a pog. Oh, <gasps> it's a pog! <laughs> it's a zombie pog! Why does this make me happy? What, look at this. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a zombie pog 
and a freaking Zobi wrist snap snapper. It's a snap bracelet. Whatever. Slap bracelet. Okay, first off. For real? All right. So for those that are seeing the flickering of light, <laughs> it's our electricity going on and off. So there's this cool effect going on in this video, which is kind of cool. Kinda right cool. now, this is what it used to look like before we bought studio lights. Yeah. So for those that watched this for a while, this is pretty normal. Yeah. Whenever the power comes on, it's going to be like, bah! <laughs> anyway, Zobi, look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Whoop. That is so cool. Go ahead, stick your wrist out. Shkadoosh! Yeah. Come on. Give it to me. Power going out won't stop us from making a video. <laughs> no, it won't. So far. This box is legit. This is awesome. Okay, you ready? Right, I'm ready. Oh, dude. That is awesome. That's really cool. Oh, it's Neo. <laughs> It's Neo! With the, with the white rabbits! You gonna show them. Sorry. Check that out. That's really wicked cool. That is freaking awesome. Oh Neo goodness, with the dude. white rabbit. Okay, I'm really happy about this box now. At first, I was a little upset with you. Yeah, he was. And uh, now you are completely forgiven. Thank you. Oh, is that the sign thing? That's the sign thing. Yeah, that's the sign thing. What is it? What did we get signed? Why is that funny? Why are you laughing right now? <laughs> this is really funny. Oh, this is funny. Oh, what's this? <sighs> this is signed too. This says, I hope you love this 90s box. Thank you for the support. I think it's Zobie's signature. What do you miss from the 90s? Ooh, that's a good question. We'll ask at the end. Even though I asked now, don't answer it now. Do not yeah. answer it now. Yeah. It's an end question. I got my cue card, so wait. What is it? You, uh... What is it? You remember Mr. Finney? <gasps> From Boy Meets World? Is it Mr. Finney? Shut up! Is it really Mr. Finney? No way! <laughs> How do you know it's Mr. Finney? <gasps> so cool! It is Mr. Finney! <laughs> his first name's William. I don't know his name. I'm sorry. William Daniels is his name. There we go. Now I can read. Oh, that's so cool! We got Mr. Finney's right. autograph! Oh, sorry. I didn't even show any of you guys. Check this out. <laughs> look, look, look. Boy Meets World. Come on, man. Who was a 90s kid and didn't watch Boy Meets World? There's the JSA authentication in the back. Loved Boy Meets World. I love uh, Sean. Ah, uh, just Corey and Topanga, man. Sean. Sean was where it was at. You're my Topanga. Oh, you're my Corey. I don't really like being compared to Corey necessarily, but I was, more, I was more of a Sean growing up. But if you were a Sean and I was a Topanga, then we wouldn't be making this video. It's really weird with the lights this way. I'm not uh -huh. gonna lie to you. It's like freaking us out. I'm we gotten so used to these giant uh, Whoa. bright chonko lights. Yeah, the thunders, you yes. You know, we could just open a window. That would probably help. Yeah. So I opened a window. Yeah. Does that help? Are we brighter? <laughs> This video is gonna be so great. <laughs> Come on, man! It's like the it's it's like the outside knew we were doing a '90s video, and it was like too yeah. much lighting, two peas. Yeah, you need to make it kind of grungier. Yep. Look, you can see our shadows again. This is legit what uh, we recorded. Look. Yeah. I'm a little. No. I'm a little bunny, bunny, bunny. They call me bunny. I'm a bird. Okay, all right, all right. I'm a spider. I'm a T-Rex, and I'm gonna eat your face. I don't think that's what a T-Rex looks like, is it? Yeah, that's totally what he looks like. Now, T-Rex looks more like this. Why does he sound like that? I don't think that's right. Can you pass the biscuits, please? <laughs> It's a British it's, I see, It seems to be out of my reach. Man, power's gonna be out for a minute. Yeah. All right. Oh, your mom was making banana bread. Not anymore, she's not. All right, so in this box came a card and it says, I hope you love the 90s box. Thank you for the support. And it says, what do you miss from the 90s? And then below, it's got a kind of a few awesome pictures that every 90s kid on the planet Earth will remember. 
So on here, it's got Dunkaroos, oh. Fruit Stripe Bubblegum. Love Dunkaroos. Star Crunch. Star Crunches are so good. Blockbuster and squeeze -its. So out of Stop those, it. out of those five. squeeze -its. Really? Yeah. Mine's Blockbuster. I love squeeze -its. Oh, I love but the Dunkaroos, Dunkaroos were oh. so good. I like the ones with the sprinkles. Yes. Oh, oh they were so good. Dude. Oh my God. All now, my friends were like, you gotta get the chocolate ones. And I was like, the sprinkles were Yeah, like the that. sprinkles were amazing. Yeah. And then I, Star Crunches were great because it looked like you were eating a turd. It did. You are like, do you want a turd for a snack? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Why not? And of course, you know, grownups were like, what? <laughs> we doing to our kids <laughs> to which i say you guys were around for the 80s yes. kids. will you quit snapping that well you're like a kid with a pen that... do you remember those pencils that had the tips that you would like take out and you'd push it through the bottom and then it'd be another tip yeah you mean the one that had like the carousel of different colors no 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 these were the tip pens so it was a pen and it had or a pencil and it had like 10 different little white tips. And whenever you ran out of pencil on one of them, you popped the little white part out and then you pushed it through the bottom and it pushed up another tip. What did you guys collect in the 90s? Beanie All Babies. Right. You did Beanie Babies? Be Beanie Babies? Yeah. I just made up my own thing. You did. I never got into the Beanie Babies. I did. What was your favorite Beanie Baby that you had? My shark. You had a shark Beanie Baby? Yeah, That's it was awesome. my favorite, yeah. Uh, I had all of the original uh, Ninja Turtle toys. Yeah. Power Ranger ones, the ones where the heads flip, right? Yeah. You know, you yeah. know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Um, all the original Star Wars. I get it. I say original Star Wars. I mean my original Star Wars, not the Star Wars toys that came out in the 70s or the ones that came out in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, I know. I know what you're Had about. all of those. They now all reside in Lando's house. Pokemon cards. Uh, oh my. <laughs> oh yes. Is Pokemon in the 90s? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, 90s Game Freak. Holy moly. Yep. I got my first Pokemon card. True story, all right? I was uh, subscribed to Nintendo Power. Oh my God, I looked forward to every month getting my <laughs> Nintendo Power. And in the back of the Nintendo Power, there was a Pokemon card. Charmeleon. And it was like a little thing in a promo. And it was like, coming soon, a new way to play cards. Pokemon. And I just was like, I, I, what? <laughs> yes. I took that Charmeleon out and I babied that card for uh -huh. months until this game was released. And as soon as Pokemon was, the day Pokemon cards were released, I bought like five boxes of those bad boys. <laughs> okay. Which yes, means I had every single first edition card. And you sold them at a yard sale. I like to call it a garage sale. Same thing. It was in a garage. Yeah, I think I made good money when I was younger for that. <laughs> oh boy. Dear. I also used to collect those uh, vending machine stickers. Oh, me too. Um, I did the the Looney Tunes ones. Yeah. The ones that were like sparkly or whatever. Oh, they were yeah, big. You know, you got them at. Uh -huh. Hey, you get them you, at Myers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you put the little coins in and you push it in, and then you, when you pull it back out, it's and like there was a, the white card, yeah. and you open the card. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, oh, yep. okay. You guys gotta let us know. It's, it's serious. It's a serious business. Yes. What did you collect in the '90s? We gotta know. Give us a list. Give us your list of '90s collections. Yes. All right. We need. To I know. was huge into basketball cards. Right. Jordan was huge so i had every single jordan basketball court i didn't have every single jordan basketball card okay i understand some of the words wrong, <laughs> but i had good ones put it this way i had one of those binders that you keep cards mm -hmm. in and i had an entire binder dedicated to michael jordan oh. loved it i collected these too this is for the hashtag till the enders okay <laughs> if you're here with me i need to know if any of you 90s kids remember zbots yes you remember zbots i love those things those were one of my favorite. I had a headboard on a, on my bed when I was a kid, uh -huh. and I put all my Z-Bots on the headboard, <laughs> which was great because they were always knocked over every time I woke up in the morning. Oh, see, I always put mine because I used to get those Connects and Lincoln Logs, and I would build them houses. Oh, I did not like Connects, Lincoln Logs, Legos, not my thing. I didn't like Legos. I like Connects and Lincoln Logs, and that was it. I wasn't creative enough or creative enough to to create things, but I had a good enough imagination to play with my toys. I loved creating things. I made 
some crazy mansions for all of my toys to go in. Oh, that's cool. My toys were rich. Mine was just imagination. Like, uh, I was huge into wrestling when I was a kid, so we had the wrestling rings and the wrestlers. Oh, I did the whole bit, man. I had the intro music in my head going <laughs> off. I walked the wrestlers into the ring, and then I made them, like, bend and, like, go through the ropes and come back. Uh, they did whatever their... Th I did Monday Night Raw in my living room, <laughs> put it that way. Oh, and then I had those uh, those real wrestlers, right? And they were like this big, they were like two feet tall, but like you could punch <laughs> them in the gut and they'd be like, oh, ah, ugh, and you could put them in submissions. I used to wrestle those things for real. I used to have a vent in my floor back when houses were like old school and the, the vents, vents were in the floor. floor yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mine had like a loose thing, so you could just pop it out. And Everyone's. Then... I don't think anyone's vent in the floor was like bolted down. <laughs> I always made my vent in the floor purgatory. So everybody lived in mansions and all that stuff, but then like there'd be a random thief Barbie and she would end up in purgatory, which is the vent in the floor. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, well, this has been crazy. <laughs> Anyways, hashtag till the enders. You have a lot to comment, so. Yeah. Be free. <laughs> Go. <laughs> if you liked what you see, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, if you want to become a member of the Peapod family, you can take a look at the Patreon link, which is also in the description below. And that's it, man. That's everything. We can talk 90s all day. Yes. Too much for one video. <laughs> so until next time, guys, bye. Bye. <laughs> Kablam!